Scotty Scheffler, three under 67. Scotty, tied for the best round of the day. How were you able to take advantage out there? Um, I just stayed really patient. I was hitting it good pretty much most of the day. Uh, two silly bogeys early in the round, but outside of that, I, I hit it really good. I was in position most of the day, and um, a few more putts would have fallen in versus around the edge. Um, would have been a really special day, but three under was a good score for me, especially being two over through six. Can you talk us through the eagle on 14? Yeah, I hit a great drive down the middle, and then my if I had kind of a funny lie where it was sitting on a down slope, and it made that, that shot in the green much harder. Um, and I caught it a hair thin, it hit the tree. Fortunately, it didn't hit the tree and come backwards. It kind of just fell down in front of it and um, had a good line, you know, just hit a good chip and it went in. We're uh, going to go to Chris yeah. on my right. What happened on that chunk on five? Um, I don't know. I just caught a little fat, I guess. <laughs> like anything technical or anything like that? Just No, I mean, those areas are really thin. I tried to hit that one really low and the ground felt really firm. And then when I went into it, it was very soft. We're going to go all the way to your right. Hey, Scott, you mentioned the PGA trying to not get too high, not get too low during this whole year. How does that help you like in a round when you can have, you know, back to back bogeys or that shot on five and then have the back nine you did? Yeah, I'm just, I mean, staying patient. Um, I knew I was swinging at it well. I really, I was two over through six and I hadn't really made a bad swing yet. Um, but that's just US Open, it's just hard. Um, and I kind of lost focus there on five and six and then got right back into it. And, you know, I just played really good after that. I hit, hit pretty much mostly all good shots from there on in. We're going to hear on your left. Hi, Scotty. Um, your roommate was just here, Sam. He was talking. What's going on at the house this week that's letting you guys both play so well? I don't know. If we, if we knew, we'd probably do it every week. <laughs> but, um, yeah, not too much. Just dinner, hanging out. We got uh, his coach is staying there, and then Teddy's staying with us as well. And so it's been a fun week. We're going to go to Don on your right. Scotty, there was a period this season where every time you hit a ball, you were picking up a trophy. They're not so good at Tulsa. You came in here perhaps flying under the radar a little bit because of all the talk about Liv. Do you feel like that somehow helped you kind of without having that spotlight on you? Yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm kind of an under the radar person. I, um, I don't really feel like there's much chatter going around with me. I mean, Rory won last week, Tiger was at the PGA. Um, you know, I've been number one in the world for a while now and it doesn't really feel like it. And so I kind of like just being under the radar. I can show up and do my thing and then go home and rest. There was a period in that round today where you were on the cut line. What were you able to do or what were you able to draw on to turn it around? Well, I, I knew I was swinging at it well. Um, I, I hit really good yesterday. I hit really good today. And, you know, like I said earlier, outside of a few putts going into the hole versus barely around it, it would have been a much – today would have been a really special round. Um, but it was still, still a really good one. We're going to stay on your right. Uh, Scotty, do you think there's – too much importance put on majors, not enough importance or the right amount? And since you've won a major, has your thought process on that changed at all? I mean, I, I like winning tournaments. I like winning majors. I think that's more up for you all to decide what kind of emphasis is placed on them. Um, being able to play against the best golfers in the world, however it is, and whatever tournament it is, it's always fun for us. You know, the majors, they do hold a little bit more of a special place just because we know everybody's going to be there. Um, but winning golf tournaments is just a lot of fun. We'll go far right to Ben. Uh, Scotty, I imagine winning the Masters was a pretty life-changing moment for you this year. Is there anyone you've leaned on for advice on how to uh, handle success and handle yourself out here now that you are a major champion? Yeah, lots of guys. Pretty much anybody that's gone gone before me, when I get the chance, I'm going to ask them some piece of advice, whether it be you know, how to handle fans or media stuff or whatever it is. You know, I, I need help kind of operating through this kind of stuff. And so you know, whoever will give me some advice, I'm probably going to take it from them. Is there any one piece of advice that has stuck with you? Um, you know, nothing right off the top of my head, but um, probably just staying patient with all different kinds of stuff, whether it's um, media, fans, bad golf, whatever it is. You know, you're going to have ups and downs, so just try and kind of keep a level head. Just a few more. We're going to go here to SI for kids. Hey, when you say that you would lose focus during the round, what are techniques that you use to bring yourself back to your game? Um... I don't want to say try harder because that typically doesn't work, but um, sometimes I just need to kind of get woken up a little bit. And I think um, using frustration for good versus getting angry is, is really helpful. Um, and so when I can kind of use that frustration instead of getting angry and banging my club and um, now more so I'm trying to use that anger to kind of react towards that next shot and just kind of bring that focus up a little bit. And so using those, those bad things for good is, is typically what works best. Last two, Dylan and Stephanie. Yeah, when you say, you know, Rory gets maybe more of the attention or, or other people like Justin Thomas can act almost like spokesman for the PGA Tour sometimes, but you're the world number one. Are you glad that they take some of that pressure off or do you feel like, you know, 
you would well, like to take more of that. Well, attention. I mean, those those guys have been on the PGA Tour for a long time. You know, Justin Thomas has won like 13 times in two majors. Rory's won four majors and like 21 times on the PGA Tour. So those guys are definitely going to be more of the spokespersons and uh, take the limelight because they deserve it. They've won so many golf tournaments. And, you know, I kind of like flying under the radar. So for me, um, it, it makes things a lot simpler. And, um, you know, those guys do a really good job of kind of carrying our brand. And, you know, I'm really happy that, that they do what they do for us. You feel like that's something that's like potentially in your future if you stay where you are? Or are you happy to never do like state of the union type stuff? I mean, if it's re what's required of me, then that's what I'll do. I mean, I'm up for anything. I, you know, that's really just, it's kind of up to you guys if you guys want to ask me certain questions or not. So it's not really up to me. I just kind of answer what gets thrown at me. Last one right here, Stephanie. It seems like in some ways this is kind of an ideal uh, U.S. Open leaderboard, like some major winners, some guys who found out on Friday they were going to be here. Are there guys who are in contention that you had never even heard of or you weren't familiar with them before? Um, no, I'm pretty familiar with most of the guys. Um, you know, I've said this before a lot. The PJ Tour is very deep and extremely talented, and so you guys may be surprised to see certain people up on the leaderboard, but I think most of the guys out here aren't that surprised just because you know there's so many talented guys and – Especially when you're playing a golf course as difficult as this, if, you, if you're playing your best, you're going to be there at the top, no matter um, you know, how good your career has been in the past or if you're just getting started, whatever it is. If you're playing good golf, you're going to get rewarded for it on a test like this. Thanks. Scotty, thanks so much for your time. Thank you all.